We've got more snow coming. Then we had that fresh round of snow overnight in some places. But still, the biggest problem is Thursday's blizzard. Some people are upset that the roads in New Haven still are not cleared. News Day's Renee Schmiel is live tonight out there in the mobile weather lab. She's driving around in New Haven tonight. Renee, some roads look pretty good, others not so much, right? That's exactly right, and it really just depends on where you are in the city of New Haven. Let's take a look outside. We are on Asylum Street right here, and as you can see, lots of cars parked on either side of the road, and these are dug out, but some of them are still really buried in that snow, so any of the drivers that are going to come to get their cars are going to have a hard time getting their cars out of there. That's what you see over on the right side of your screen. Really, cars surrounded by snow, so that's going to be tough for them and for the DPW crews that are going to come and try to dig them out. And they're there are cars like that all across the city still buried. The Department of Public Works had crews working all day yesterday and overnight last night. But when the sun comes out and it warms up and the snow starts to melt, it can look like the roads have not even been plowed at all. Still, some residents think the roads and the sidewalks should be in better shape than they are. To move here and then because it's a coastal area, it's not as used to like these large amounts of snow as where I'm from. It was it was shocking and it's continued to to be shocking even though I'm I'm a little bit more prepared for it now. Other roads like Davenport Avenue that you see here do look a bit better. The DPW is preparing for more winter weather tomorrow and crews are asking everybody digging out their cars not to throw the snow into the street and that'll make their job a bit easier. Live in New Haven, Renee Schmiel, News 8. All right, Renee, thank you. And be sure to stay with News 8 for the latest information on this next round of winter weather.